Oh my god, that's so good. So do you guys ever watch those videos of people using whipped cream on their cakes and it's like super smooth and super white and you're like, that is definitely not what my whipped cream looks like. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the world of whipped cream for you guys and I'm going to be showing you how to whip up the perfect whipped cream for your cakes. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up below because it really helps with YouTube pushing my videos out to more viewers. So it's a really easy way to support Cakes by MK. Apart from that, let's get right into this video. So let's start off with the different types of whipping cream that you can get. Now I'm literally just going to dump a whole bunch of information on you guys right now, but I promise you it's got so much value to it when it comes to cake decorating, so just bear with me. So there's two main types of whipping cream that you can get. First being a dairy whipping cream, so that will either be fresh or ultra pasteurized ultra pasteurized or a non-dairy whipping cream which basically has no kind of milk solids or fats in it. Now there is also a third type of buttercream which I've termed a hybrid buttercream but it's basically a non-dairy whipping cream and I'll talk more about that later. So let's start off with dairy whipping cream. Now dairy whipping cream is predominantly made up of milk fats and a lot of people might term it as you know what we call real cream and there's many different brands that you can find around the world. Now fresh cream tastes amazing and it's usually unsweetened so you can use it in both cooking and as a topping on both you you know, sweet and savory desserts and of course it can be whipped up to use as you know like an icing for cake decorating and if you were using it for more of a dessert then you'd usually add some sort of sweetener or flavoring to it. Now one of the major drawbacks when it comes to dairy whipping cream is that it's not very stable and it loses its consistency quite quickly which makes it difficult when it comes to cake decorating especially if you stay in a really humid climate. Now let's move on to non-dairy whipping creams. Now non-dairy whipping creams are predominantly made up of vegetable fats and they already have stabilizers put into them which make them super great when it comes to cake decorating. They're also usually referred to as a whip topping so they're often labeled that way as well and again there are many different brands which are found all over the world. Now the only thing to be careful about when it comes to a non-dairy whipping cream is making sure that you choose one that actually tastes good because it is essentially you know an artificial whipping cream or what some people might call a mock cream. So you really want to make sure that you know you try out a few different brands and you get one that actually tastes good. Now lastly, I've decided to add a little subcategory, which I have termed a hybrid buttercream, but it's really just a non-dairy whipping cream. It's not a hybrid buttercream, <laughs> but basically what it is, it's a whip topping, which has some milk solids in it. So what you might find is, you know, you're going to the supermarket, you pick up a whip topping and it's got all the, you know, usual hydrogenated vegetable oil and all that kind of stuff, which is in a usual non-dairy whip topping, but then it says milk solids somewhere in there. So in terms of, you know, consistency and stability and the way it whips up and the color and all that kind of stuff, it's exactly the same as a non-dairy whipping cream. The only reason why I've added it in here is just so that you guys don't get confused when you know choosing between a dairy and a non-dairy whipping cream. Now for the purposes of this video I am going to just include those kind of whipped creams under what I call a non-dairy whipping cream but this is again only for the purposes of cake decorating so I'm not taking into account you know any allergies or things like that so just keep that in mind. And now we come to the important question so do I use a dairy or a non-dairy whipping cream when it comes to decorating my cakes? Now both are absolutely fine and they'll get the job done but if you're looking for some something to decorate your cakes with that's going to give you those super smooth sides and sharp edges and you can do some you know amazing piping with it without losing the consistency too quickly then I would highly recommend using a non-dairy whipping cream. It's far more stable especially when the weather's hot and the consistency is just way better to deal with and like I said before you can find non-dairy whipping cream in heaps of places around the world and there's many different brands but here in New Zealand it's actually almost impossible to find a non-dairy whipping cream and that's because we are really lucky to have access to really high quality dairy here so people just seem to use fresh cream and when it comes to cakes and you know cake decorating because we have access to high quality butter people just tend to use buttercream as their preferred icing option but luckily enough we do have one non-dairy whipping cream here which is called whip and ice and that can be found at Gilmore's and at special cake decorating shops if you're based in New Zealand and wondering where you can get access to that but basically that's what I'm going to be using today to make my whipped creams and I'm going to show you guys how I whip this up. Now when it comes to whipping up cream, the first thing that you want to do is you want to start off with a bowl and an attachment, so in this case I'm using my whisk attachment, that's been placed in the fridge for about 10 minutes. You can also use a hand mixer for this as well, so just place the kind of two you know, whisk attachments into the fridge as well, along with the bowl that you're using to make your whipping cream. And this is just going to help your cream whip up a lot better. 
Now the next thing you want to keep in mind is with these non-dairy whipping creams, a lot of the time they increase in volume quite a bit. So you want to make sure that you're not overfilling your bowl, otherwise your whipping cream is not going to whip properly. So in the case of my whipped cream, it says to fill the bowl to a 20% capacity and no more than that. So usually on the um, you know packaging, it'll tell you how much you should fill your bowl. Now next thing that I'm going to do is I'm simply going to pour one cup of my whip and ice into my mixer and I'm just going to mix that on a medium speed until I reach stiff peaks. So I've just poured in about just over a cup of my whipped cream and that should be enough to ice a 6 inch 3 layer cake or an 8 inch 2 layer cake. Now I'm going to whip this up on a medium speed because if you whip your cream at too high of a speed then what's going to happen is you're going to incorporate way too many air bubbles into your whipped cream and it's not going to be really nice and smooth so just make sure that you're not whipping it up at too high of a speed. So my mixture's been going for about six minutes or so now, and you can see that we've reached the soft peak stage. So I just wanted to show you guys what that looks like. So if I just give it a little mix, when I pick up my whisk, I've got a peak there on the top, but it's not staying upright, which means that we're at a soft peak stage. So at this point, if your whipping cream that you're using isn't flavored or sweetened, then this is the time that you would add any flavors or sweeteners, as well as colorings as well, if you are coloring your whipped cream. Now, the whipped cream that I'm using today is already flavored and it's sweetened and it tastes amazing, so I am good to go. I'm just going to keep whipping until I reach a stiff peak. So my whipped cream has been going for another three minutes or so. So altogether, this whipped cream took me about maybe just under 10 minutes to kind of get it to that stiff peak stage. So it looks like we are there now. So if I lift up some of my whipped cream, you can see there that I've got a nice stiff peak, which is staying upright. And you can also see it there in the bowl as well. So that is how you know that your whipped cream is ready. And that is basically it when it comes to whipping cream. Now, two quick tips for you guys once you've finished whipping your cream is firstly, if you notice that there are too many air bubbles in your whipped cream, so it's not kind of really nice and smooth like my one is, then what you can do is simply mix your cream on the lowest speed on your mixer for about a minute or two, and then this should help remove some of those air bubbles. Now, if you're scared of over mixing your whipped cream, if it looks like, you know, if you keep mixing it, it's just going to get over whipped, then what you can do is just hand mix it with a spatula and this will help to remove some of those air bubbles. Now, on the other hand, if you feel like you have over whipped your cream and it just looks like it's splitting and it's, you know, not quite where it should be, then what you can do is simply add some of your liquid whipped cream into your whipped whipped cream. I'd only do about a tablespoon at a time until you kind of get it back to the consistency it needs to be at and simply just fold that through with a spatula and that will help you fix your, uh, you know, split or broken or over whipped whipped cream. And yeah, that is basically it. So before I finish this video, I'm going to really quickly show you guys how beautiful it is to pipe with this whipped cream. So what I've got here is I've got a whipped cream cake and I've got my whipping cream in a piping bag with a 1M tip on it, which is basically a star tip nozzle. And I'm simply going to show you guys just how beautifully smooth this whipping cream is and how amazing it is to pipe with. Like just how smooth does that look? And that is basically it guys, that is how you create beautiful light and fluffy whipped cream which is an absolute dream to you know decorate and pipe with. As you can see we're left with a really beautiful crisp finish. And yeah that's basically it, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this and thanks again for watching Cakes by MK.